ready to live. Alive. So yeah, we got the uh, notification that the DLC was ready to play at 2.15 a.m., so about 45 minutes ago. Not even, 50 minutes ago now. It's 3.05. I don't have a ton of time for this, so this is going to be a short one, but I think what we'll do is we'll go through all the DLC currently released, which will be the Saga Pack 1, which came out release day, and the Live Alive Pack, which came out literally less than an hour ago. If there's time, I'll continue Final Fantasy 3, but otherwise we're just doing... We're doing the crossover stuff tonight. What you've all been waiting for. Oh, I didn't watch the Wii version. Okay, you know what? We'll do it next stream. Tomorrow night. I'll start by watching the Wii uh, Kirby's Return to Dreamland ending. I want to see how it's different. Happy birthday, Aiko. Silver growth egg. Yeah, this game, ha when whenever an anniversary release or a character's birthday comes up, you get a, a growth egg as a present. Now playable in music stages. Live Alive, Birds Fly, Fish Swim, Megalomania, Go Go Steel Titan, bonus items, four growth eggs. That wasn't all of them, right? Oh yeah, it is. There's only four. Alright, well... Why, why did I only get four songs? The only one gets eight. Oh, I'm on ultimate. I'm on basic for some reason. So we already did. Um, we already did rage battle before on the first stream, just because I needed something to fill in the time. So we'll do the rest. Struggle to the Death, Final Fantasy Legend 2. So this is, um... Saga 2 for Game Boy. Which is available on the Switch via the Saga Collection. Co collection? Wow, Twiles of Mana, Saga Collection. Because fuck you, that's why Square Enix... Yeah, that's so weird. I thought there was gonna be, um... thought it was gonna be four ninety nine and have eight songs... I, I th like, most of the DLC packs have eight, and we're not getting another Live Alive pack. That's kind of depressing. Bad. Yeah, it sucks. I was kind of taken by surprise there. I'm gonna look it up and see if we knew about that ahead of time. Final bar line. DLC. Saga series packs, sound count seven. Oh no, they said live alive count pack count four. That kind of sucks. 
World Ends With You is going to be the next pack, and then Nier is coming after that. Yeah, the, the amount of each pack is, like, different. That's so weird. I don't know why they, why they had to make it so uneven. Even if they worded it poorly. No, they were clear. I apparently was just not paying attention. That sucks, though. The Conflict. So most of this music is going to be from Romancing Saga 1. A little bit of a downer, but hey, the, they chose the best songs for it, I think, so... You can see. Maybe one of the question mark packs is another Live Alive pack, like for the remake or something. That one was difficult. Horrible Shadow. Again, I'm more I'm more looking forward to the second saga pack because I'll have Romancing Saga 2 in it, which I do know the music from that one. gripe about the DLC in this game, other than the wonky track numbers, is just, um, there's no characters from any of these games being added. The DLC in Curtain Call, I believe, added new characters. The second 3DS game.
Nice. Very good. So I looked it up today, just out of curiosity, uh, and I, I looked up my old save file from the original Theater Rhythm, which is the only other one I've played, and uh, it's pretty interesting. Again, there was only 13 quests courses, one for each of the main games at the time. 14 did not have a quest course. Completed all of them on all three difficulties, there was no supreme difficulty. It was just the basic three, and you had to unlock ultimate. So, back then, the difficulty I was playing on was considered, like, the highest level of play. Uh, individual songs, I beat... There was only 43 in the base game. Um, not counting DLC. I did not get all the DLC for this game. I only got a few songs, like, like 10 or so. I got 100% on all three scores for all 43 base songs. Uh, the collected cards, there were 81 normal, holofoil, and platinum. And I got all but a f all but uh, twelve platinum cards, and then my profi card in that one was also a chocobo. I had forty six out of sixty four feats. I played for eighty five hours, and I had max rhythmia nine thousand ninety nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine. It's worth noting, in this new game, there it, the rhythmia goes above five digits. So I'll be grinding this for a while. <laughs> I was wondering about that early on, but it turns out I've, I've encountered people who have over 100,000 Rhythmia right now. So, uh... Yeah. And I went- I tried to play it. After playing Final Bar Line, I cannot play the original Theater Rhythm anymore. I'm too used to this new control scheme. Because you could only use the touchscreen in the original Theater Rhythm. Curtain Call had button controls as well, but... Everyone said the touchscreen was better. Beat them up. That's the Final Fantasy XIV crew right there. Tempo change there.
full cure. Now Mike is going, still going. Mike go to bed. What is he streaming right now? Coup de gras. So it's 100% of the HP gauge once when HP falls below 15. Wow, she's got some baller-ass curing. I have to keep her in the party. Oh, he's playing Kirby as well? Damn. Oh, there's my fighting team, which is th three clouds and girl cloud. <laughs> Probably with some some penis jokes, yeah. That's Mike's MO. He sure does talk about penis a whole lot. I was watching one of his streams and he was making slime. He talked about the, his old millennial slime video. Hmm. I don't remember that. I don't think I've seen that one. Ardent Rhythm. This is from Romancing Saga Minstrel Song. This is a remake, I believe, that just came out recently. You have to, it's it's too real, especially now. Maybe I've seen it, I'm not sure. I'll have to watch it after the stream. After I'm done streaming.
pretty good. It song ended up being better than I thought it would be. Though I don't think I got a pretty good score on that. Did I get even an S? Yes, I did. Barely. Barely got an S on that. Alright, now time to move into the, uh, into the good stuff here. Live Alive! Oh, the Steel Titan theme is from the HD remake. Cool. It's gonna be the full ver- is it gonna be the Japanese version or the English version? Nice. Always good to revisit that music. It's always fun. Up oh, two of them hit 99. Time to cry. Yes. But before I do, let me let me kick these guys out. Do you have anyone that's like about to hit 99? Aerith is 92. And Advent Children Cloud is 85. Okay. I'm disappointed there's not more Live Alive songs, but I, I'm happy with, with the ones they put in here. They, they definitely picked some bangers. This is probably the least... Like, eh, I mean, it's a memorable song.
weird. They, it ate my, uh... It ate my inputs at the end there. Kefka's back on your Twitch sidebar. I don't even have him in my party this time. I got triple S, though. Nice. Alright, we know what's coming up next. It's the song. The song. Look, it's even it's even got the stage. This was in curtain call as well. This background. Lots of ketchup and mustards there with some relish, yeah. Wait, what? Huh? What are we talking about? Man, the remake version of Megalo Mania is so good. You notice I had to pause there. I had to pause, I'm like, I'm saying the right one, right? <laughs> I'm saying the right the right one, right? It's funny because this so this song, Megalomania, is in Theater Rhythm and then Taiko no Tatsujin. Uh, ha has Megalovania, Megalovania in it, in two of the games. And our last DLC song. Is the, uh, Steel Titan theme from the remake. I gotta be honest, like, it, 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 it again, it's a little bit of a bummer that it's like, this is over already. <laughs> I thought there would be a couple more songs, but... Oh, look, we get the Burning Orphanage. What a perfect backdrop for this music. Is that really the full length of the song? I guess it was, because it was only a cutscene. All 
All right, well, there, there's the DLC. <laughs> the background, though, yeah, I know. So I got a few of these that I have to play through, but I'm not gonna do the. I'm not gonna do that now, since we have about 15 minutes or so. I'm gonna continue three for now. I'll have the chance. I definitely can't tell if the offset is good or not anymore. Like it's it just feels like it feels like no matter what I'm getting slightly lower hits or slightly less accurate hits at times. Okay, so we got four more stages of this. We could beat we could be four uh three before we stop. Three for the three order of three taco supremes. Order of three taco supremes. I don't know what I'm going to be eat eating this weekend. Probably fast food. We might go to a buffet. I'm not sure. I don't even know if I'm going to see Nessie this weekend. It might snow. Again. Which I hope it doesn't. I don't remember what the quest was here. Hey, those get good sometimes. I think it's the hot and cold combo, which I like. I also do the same for other foods as well. I mean, I can find something good to eat anywhere. <laughs> Honestly. Talking about food every night makes me fucking hungry, too. I need to eat something now after I finish this. 70% or higher rainbow critical judgments. Nice. We go to the buffet, I usually get a ton of sushi and then just some random meats and uh, veggies. Something nourishing, please. <laughs> That's what I drink water for.
Oh my god. What the hell did I do there? Holy shit. I'm fucking this up so bad. Wow, I don't know how I got an S on that, considering how much I just gave up at the end there. You need to eat well, and no, yeah, or V8. Maybe, I don't know. The problem is dieting is not the issue. I think the issue is that I'm not getting enough exercise anymore. Because I'm at home all day. I don't leave my room, ever. <coughs> Clear. Yeah, I don't deserve a complete for that one. I mentioned this before, but this song has an absolutely banger remix in Final Fantasy XIV. I hope one day I get to that point on stream. This is like the final area of, of Final Fantasy III. Buck up, mateys. Nice. I'm making some plant meat with some lentil pasta. I don't like lentil soup. Lentil pasta might be okay. And I've had plant meat, soy burgers and stuff before. Depending on how it's cooked, it's good. Store-bought store -bought bean burgers are not good. Ooh, Rama. Cool. A Rama Lama Lama Ding Dong. This is the last battle. I like how that's the name of the song. The 3D- the DS version of that song is really good. And I wish they'd use that instead. Experience received plus 20, summon damage dealt plus 20. Yeah, not great. Apparently I shouldn't delete summon stones, because there's a risk that it might corrupt my save data. Fucked up. It doesn't really taste like lentils at all. Chickpea pasta is good too, with some sautéed veggies to get them crispy. I do like chickpeas. I don't like chickpeas normally, but I like, um, I like hummus, which is mostly made of chickpea. Defeat the boss, Cloud of Darkness.
it's good. It has a lot of build up to it, which is nice, but the 3DS, or not the 3DS, the DS version sounds so much better because it does like the 8 bit rendition and then transitions into a, uh, transitions into like an orchestrated part, part for the, ep for the like the, the, like the, the swell at the end. What's that noise? That's not part of it. Oh, it is part of it. Alright, never mind. Oops, didn't mean to open that. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Like, I, I really like it. It's a really good... Yeah, I didn't realize that sword noise was in there. But yeah, it's such a good rendition. I love how they handle it, how they kept it like... They keep, like, the 8-bit part, and then they have the, the orchestra hit at the very end to kind of, uh, make it really feel like, oh, this is a remake, man. This is, this is, this is the moment. That's the end of that, too. That was the last song of that. I should probably just stop here. There's nothing else I can really do. Cool. Well, it was a fun but abbreviated theater rhythm session. I got a new character, right? Oh, wait, right, I got an FMS. I'll do an EMS. And I got Cloud of Darkness as a character. Okay. We're definitely starting four next time. We're gonna be doing- I think we're gonna do the rest in order. Shark the Force that can raise magical attack power and cast three different high-level ele elemental spells. Yeah, I'm thinking, uh, I'm thinking next stream I'm gonna start with four, and then seven remake, and then eight. If we, if we can get through them. I mean, seven remake's only ten songs, four is thirteen, and then eight is eighteen. So we might not get through all of eight, but I think we could probably get through four and seven remake. And then work our way up this way. Uh, so wait, what was I gonna do? I was gonna do the EMS before I, uh, before I stop. Ilya, the Maiden of Water. I'm pretty sure we- yeah, that was already- again, all- I think all the EMSs in this game are reworked into, uh, battle themes or FMSs as well. Which is good, because it just lets you play them during multiplayer then. Unless they're FMSs, in which case you don't. It's so- it's confusing. It's not- it's not- it's not handled the best. <laughs> Again, I miss how the, EM the EMSs used to be, as opposed to this one.
here it goes. Into the void from once it came. Perfect chain. Cool, 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 cool. Oh yeah, that, that, here, here's a preview of one of the songs from 4. Enjoy this. Fart trumpets. I like how they have to keep the preview on that long, otherwise it would just be the fart trumpets. D don't worry, we'll be getting that song next time. <laughs> that song will be next time we play. Chocobo's dungeon goes below the the, the DLC. If you say so, yeah, <laughs> I do say so. Don't worry, don't worry. I I know what I'm about here. Uh, what else? I got some feats. Uh, I cleared a I achieved an all critical uh, chain at one point. Uh, what else did I do? 300 music stages, 500 million points, 10,000 Rhythmia, four characters reached level 99. Yeah, we already had that. Got 30 dropped summon stones, 300 collector cards, hard every airship. I achieved an almost perfect score on a basic on a basic score. There's one more it's clear five of today's top hits with a perfect chain or better, but I haven't gotten five in a single day yet. They're like highlighted songs, they're the ones with the green music note, and so far I've never had a day where there's five of them highlighted. Why not some beats? <laughs> B-E-T-E-T. -E -T. I used to eat beats. They make your pee red. Can I just sort by like today's top choices? I guess you can't. No! I gotta stop landing on that. That could get copyright claimed. Yeah, there's only two segments with top picks. One. Two. Like, it, it's different depending on the day, but I don't know. It's weird. Yeah, don't worry about the red pee thing. Uh, we, we could talk about that some other time. Anyway, I gotta go. It's four o'clock in the morning. Um, hey, we did well tonight. We beat... Kirby main mode, and we did the DLC as somewhat disappointing as it was because we only got four freaking Live Alive songs. <sighs> That's disappointing. That's fine, though. I mean, it's they're good songs. I'm not going to complain about the quality of them. I just wish there were more. Um, but yeah, tomorrow night, probably shorter Kirby segment and longer theater rhythm segment. And then if I'm streaming Thursday, probably more of the same again. Like, again, this, this whole week is going to be double segments. Um, until I probably probably finish one or two of these, probably until I finish Theater Rhythm. The thing is, I, I, I used to never do this where I split the games up per day like other streamers do, specifically Vinny. But I realize it's like better for me because then I'm uploading shorter videos, but more of them to my channel. And that's, you know, that's, that's, that's how the algorithm works. The more videos you upload, the better. So having two one and a half hour videos is better than one three hour video. As much as I don't like doing that. Still, I'm, I'm fine with it for now. And for the time being, we're going to be doing two games a night. If, uh, if, if I can. We'll see. When I finish Theater Rhythm, it'll probably go back to being one. But yeah, more Kirby and Theater Rhythm this week. Next week, I'm assuming I'm finishing Kirby, at least. And then I'll move on to Metroid Prime Remastered. And then uh, we'll see what happens after that. Again, we've got about a month and a half before anything else new comes out that I want to play on stream. And then, uh, and then Zelda comes out right after that, so we will be having a packed schedule going forward. Good God. But seriously, thank you for coming. I appreciate it. Always do. Uh, if you want to watch more streams, check out twitch.tv slash team slash wildabandon. I don't know if who's streaming there right now, but you can check them out. Have a great evening. I'll see you tomorrow, and good night. Uh, the voice, what's wrong with you? Why does it sound like this? Good night. <laughs>